It's not your fault. Not you, Sean. Not you. Listen to me, son. It's not your fault. Jim, don't fuck with me, Sean. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> hey, guys, how you doing? It's me, Brian, with no more popcorn video. Um, hi, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a movie that I, I finally got around to watch. And I know this is kind of old hat for some of you. This has been out for, for quite a while. Um, and to give a background on why I hadn't watched it, um, there are some titles for movies that I hear and, and I just am completely not interested straight out the gates, depending on the title. I know that's super stupid of me and I have been taught or I have learned over and over and over again, um, that I can be terribly wrong <laughs> because of that. Um, this one in particular had the vibe to me of uh, like a, um, like a sci-fi movie channel title, kind of like a, like Mega Woodchuck versus the Battle Toads or something. <laughs> Actually, after a track, that sounds pretty badass. I would watch that movie, but you get the gist of it—the Mega Shark versus Huge Octopus kind of thing. Those titles. That's what I associate that type of movie with. And this movie that we're going to get into, I felt like had that uh, feeling with the title. That's what I got out of it. And boy, was I wrong. Um, very, very wrong. Uh, the movie that I would like to discuss with you guys today is called The Man Who Killed Hitler and Then the Bigfoot. Um, this was a fantastic movie. Um, I'm going to start off the way I generally do. I'm going to go over some of the packaging with you. We're not going to get into any spoilers. This will be just a really quick kind of rundown of the movie. And yeah, that's, that's going to be about it. Uh, so here we go. All right. Now, once again, I'm just keeping everything outside of the box. Makes it a lot easier. All right. This one does have the slip cover with it. Now I, I had came across this one time and time again at Walmart and Target and all sorts of things, uh, even after I had found out that this was going to be something that I wanted to watch. Um, eventually, you know, after when I first heard the title, I was like, I'm not interested, not my thing. Then I started hearing like, oh, it's getting good reviews. Then I actually started paying attention, which I should have from the very get-go, and found out, oh, Sam Elliott's in it. You know, and one of my favorites, Ron Livingston, uh, plays a, a really small uh, character in this movie as well. Sorry. But anyway, all that to say, I couldn't find the Blu-ray to save my life. Uh, and I finally found it at a used store that we have here locally in Knoxville. I found it for a really good deal with the slipcover, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, now, the detail on the slipcover, I mean, this is really simple. This is not a crazy packaging or anything. It is really nice, though. It has the embossed lettering on the title of the movie. Okay, and you do have Sam Elliott's character there, Calvin Barr. And Aiden Turner, uh, he plays the younger version of uh, Sam Elliott or Calvin Barr. So they're both playing the same character. Sam Elliott is just the older uh, version, and Aiden Turner plays the younger version. Uh, and both fantastic jobs. I mean, I don't know how you wouldn't be familiar with Sam Elliott, but just in case you're not, the guy is just super classy and does some really good work and has for, for many, many years. I think he's been... God, I mean, the guy has been making movies for 40 plus years okay you got the spine there once again nothing really intricate about it or anything nice little picture there on the back okay i'm gonna stop right there so if you guys wanted to pause and actually go over the plot of this which just a a quick little rundown of it it is as simple as it sounds uh calvin Barr. uh you know, played by Sam Elliott and, and Aiden Turner. He's um, responsible for killing Hitler in a secret mission. And then years later, he's called upon by the government to hunt down and kill Bigfoot. Uh, he somehow is able to be around him without getting any kind of disease uh, off of the creature. Um, it's, it's really, it's a simple but effective story. And I tell you it's not as silly and, and hokey as you would imagine it to be this movie is classified sorry there are your special features uh, this movie is classified as a drama thriller and i would very very much agree with that um it, it is so much of a drama um and in a very delightful way because it has all of these elements from all these other genres just wrapped up into one very unique 
and fun movie. All right, here's your case. It does come with reversible artwork. I'm one of those people that if the slipcover has one artwork, I'm going to go ahead and flip the inside artwork around. Um, but if you are more prone to, you know, the one you can just turn that, turn that right around. But I, I liked the, you know, pulling it out and get a different image there. All right, this is an unrated movie uh, from 2018. Um, all that to say, though, it's definitely not like a hard R kind of thing or nothing. It's got some violence and and whatnot in it, but nothing that's going to blow your mind or make grandma throw up or, or anything like that. Um, but no, just once again, no spoilers, just a really quick rundown. I, I really was very pleasantly surprised with this film. It just has, I know I've dropped this word a couple of times, so I certainly don't want to sound redundant, but it is very charming. It's a very fresh, unique film, I think. Um, it, it, honest to God, it tugged on my heart sometimes. There's a very, very good, in my opinion, good, classy love story, uh, between Caitlin Fitzgerald and, uh, the younger... Calvin Barr, Aiden Turner. Um, it's fantastic. It, this movie also leaves enough open to the, or open to interpretation, uh, to where you can kind of come up with some, uh, some ideas of your own. You know, I don't want to say it's an open ended movie cause it's certainly not, but there are elements in it that, that you are left to wonder, Oh, what was this about? What is this about? Um, guys, I, I would definitely, definitely recommend this. I do think it took just a, for me personally, it took just a little bit to get going, but I mean, after about like 10 minutes, I was pretty hooked and sold. Uh, I, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this movie, if you've seen it. Um, and yeah, that's really, I think about all I have to say about it, guys. I just wanted to recommend it to you all. And, uh, oh, oh, actually, no, I haven't even talked about the director. Uh, David Kraskowski directed this movie. Now, I, I had never heard that name, and I was looking through his, um, you know, credentials, basically. And he direct, or co-produced, I'm sorry, a movie from 2011 that I loved. And that movie is called The Woman. Um, I highly recommend that movie. I cannot wait to see more stuff out of this guy. Um because if he's going to keep doing this type of a thing, then I, I am sold. Sign me up. So David Krasowski, Krasowski, I'm sorry. We're watching. I'm watching. Uh, keep it up. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. Be sure to like, share, comment, all that other good jazz that you guys already know you're supposed to do if you enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Go watch a movie. Peace.